Hey guys, welcome back to Bates Racing. Today is a sad day. I'm here at Palm Beach International Raceway. It is coming towards the end of the day and it is their very last test in tune. I just wanted to make a statement here. place to do it. <laughs> Wanted to make a statement that there is a movement to try to save the track. Not sure how likely it is to happen, but we can at least try and show our support and see if there's a way to make it happen. But uh, go check Facebook. There's a group for Save Paul Beach. you go like it join it whatever and uh, show your support see if we can convince Palm Beach County to not approve the warehouse project that's uh, slated to take this tracks place and uh, maybe there's a chance as a big enough group we can save it we can convince Palm Beach County to get rid of that project and save the track but what I can tell you it is the uh, southernmost quarter mile drag strip left well, it's the uh, most southernmost quarter mile drag strip that we have left in South Florida. Further north from here, there is, uh, excuse me, there is uh, Bradenton and next to it, the Freedom Factory. Hey, Cletus McFarland, maybe you could buy this track. <laughs> Hey, one can dream. I know he probably doesn't have the capital to be able to buy this track or run it with the track he already has, but hey. So, yeah, see what we can do to save the track, but for now, it's the last test in tune ever. And unfortunately, due to uh, unforeseen circumstances. Emotional, damn it! here too late so welcome to Palm Beach International Raceway on April 22nd 2022 and to the last test of tune ever how about we go take a look at some of the cars this video is just gonna be a run-on video so I'll just take a few minutes get the runtime to about five minutes and uh, we'll take a look at some of the cars that are in the staging lanes Mind you, I also want to clarify that when I say it's the southernmost uh, quarter mile drag strip in Florida, Homestead is not actually a quarter mile drag strip. They just do their racing on the track. So that's why I'm not counting them. Apparently they do have uh, test and tune nights of some sort. So I'm going to look into that and see if I can race there. But for now, this is the last of it. Well, I guess I'm running over a bit five minutes. <laughs> a bit over five minutes. Too many cool cars. <laughs> Gotta get it iced 
down. <laughs> This fascinates me. <laughs> Basically a trailblazer, but, well, it's not. <laughs> And yeah, just a couple more cars to go. So, I brought the Corvette out here to finish my runs because I only got two runs the last time I was here at the track. I wanted to get a few more runs in, but again, due to unforeseen circumstances, I wasn't able to make it here earlier. Um, yeah, insert uh, emotional damage meme. But yeah, um, that's gonna be about it. And I guess that's it for Test and Tune at Palm Beach International Raceway. So they closed down the staging lanes already and I'm probably gonna head home soon. So it's sad, sad day in racing, but we gotta push on and hope that we can save the track, uh, get it to new owners who actually wanna maintain and save the track too and build it up used to be Moroso, so that's that. All right, guys, have a great day. Have a great night whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me. And if you made it to the end, type save PBIR, Palm Beach International Raceway, down in the comments below. Hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Oh, yeah, and here's the vet. Just got her all opened up. Nothing special. She dirty. Dirty girl. <laughs>